Beloved compatriots, as Chairperson Emeritus of the International League of People's Struggle and Chief Political Consultant of the National Democratic Front of the Philippines, I have the honor to convey this message of solidarity and support to Bayan Canada at its third annual Congress. I welcome as urgent and highly significant the theme of this Congress, Reject and Resist U.S. Marcos II Regime, Defend the Rights and Welfare of Filipinos in Canada, Continue the Legacy of People Power, and Struggle for Genuine Peace and democracy in the Philippines. I'm happy that your Congress is a historic event for progressive Filipinos to coordinate campaigns addressing increased militarization, politically motivated killings, and human rights violations in the Philippines. It also coincides with the 50th anniversary commemoration of Marcos's martial law in the Philippines. It is a tragic fact that U.S. imperialism has connived with the past Duterte regime and the Marcos dynasty to make Marcos Jr. the new president through automated electoral fraud in order to continue the bloody campaigns of military suppression against the revolutionary movement of the people and the legal democratic movement within the framework of anti-communist state terrorism which includes anti the Anti-Terrorism Law, Anti-Terrorism Council, and the National Task Force, ELCAT. The armed counter-revolution continues to escalate. So many people in the urban and rural areas are being red-tagged, not only for the purpose of intimidating them, but also for the purpose of preparing them for abduction, torture, murder, or long-term detention. The U.S. trained military and police officers are hell-bent on finishing off the people's resistance through sheer brutality. But the broad masses of the people are determined to intensify the revolutionary struggle for national liberation and democracy against foreign monopoly domination, domestic feudalism, and bureaucrat capitalism. They will never allow treason, state terrorism, and plunder to prevail in our country. The Marcos II regime offers no solution to the socio-economic and political crisis and wishes to continue the fascist suppression of the people, even as the Philippine economy and the reactionary government are sinking in bankruptcy and in ever-worsening budgetary and trade deficits. The public debt and foreign borrowing are simply unsustainable. The Marcos regime the second is refusing to heed the clamor of the peace advocates for peace negotiations. It forgets that the Marcos the first fascist regime never offered peace negotiations to the revolutionary movement, but its relentless Military campaigns failed to destroy the revolutionary movement and only served to drive the the people to fight back even harder, become stronger from year to year, and ultimately overthrow the Marcos fascist dictatorship in 1986. I'm certain that our compatriots in our motherland will be happy to receive whatever solidarity and support that you can extend to them in their struggle for national and social liberation. The moral and political support and material assistance that you can extend to them will inspire them to do their best in advancing their just revolutionary cause. Mabuhay ang sambayanang Pilipino sa Pilipinas at Canada. Lumaban hanggang magtagumpay. Sosyalismo ang hinaharap ng demokrasya ng bayan sa Pilipinas.